Hi, my name is Bert Boerland and this is Bert's screencast of the day and today we're going to look at the fourth episode of um, the natural user interface presentation. And um, last slide was what it was not a natural user interface, uh, icons that are from the last century, like the uh, uh, mail icon in the lower part, um, a stylus that is um, a heart, not your fingers, and a QWERTY keyboard for example. So today we're going to look at what is a natural user interface and usually during demonstrations I start with a demo devil um, but since I can edit it out now I, I'm pretty sure that this demo will run smoothly. Um, let's try the first one and for that I'll start up Siri and hold on. So for the first example um, I want to show you the use of uh, the natural language the most natural language there is voice I hooked up my iPhone to my screen and uh, it's mirroring right now so you can uh, see I uh, when I do stuff it goes there as well every iPhone including uh, and, and, and in I think all Androids and Windows phones as well have uh, a, a Siri or an equivalent uh, someone or something you can dictate to I always <laughs> I said something someone because it's almost natural so um, um, what time is it The time is 19.15. When is my next appointment? Your next appointment is at 7.30 p.m. today. Make a new appointment. Okay, when? 9 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, I can create your meeting. Note that you already have two appointments that overlap with this. Shall I schedule it anyway? Yes. It's on your calendar for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Start ways. Start ways. I really like ways, by the way. And ways will figure out where I have to go, etc. So this is a very good um, uh, example of how, how something like this could work. Um, it's funny as well. Where do I hide the dead bodies? Very funny. I thought so as well. Okay, this is, uh, this is working out. It queries a lot of databases, so your uh, agenda, for example, the internet as Google or, or Bing or whatever search engine it's using, Wolfram Alpha, Wikipedia. So let me do one more example and then I'll uh, go to the next one. How much is 600 plus the square root of 25? Checking on that. The answer is 30. Ah, uh, not quite. How, how much is 600 plus the square root of 25? Hmm, let me think. The answer is approximately 1.00538. Now I'm getting pissed. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. Now I'm getting pissed. I'd rather not quite honest. Um, so it's not working flawless, but it's working pretty well, I think, and uh, I use it a lot. Now let's go to the, the second example. So for the next example, I could use my finger, but I prefer to use this um, a stylus and a Wacom tablet, and it's pretty easy to uh, uh, draw this way. So uh, I could draw, I could sign, I could draw my name or a puppet. For example, this one, and uh, well, basically this uh, this works pretty well. Um, so the next example uh, is using our hands as well, but for something better. Hold on. So next up, doing something with my hands. I uh, will do this with this small device. It's connected with a USB towards my Mac. Um, it's basically, I will put it here by the way, it's basically a very small Kinect and uh, it's sending out uh, 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 infrared beams and it's picking up my hand. Um, it is a Kickstarter. Uh, I did support it, I think, over nearly two years ago. One of the good things is they, um, to do the Kickstart, I had to give them my uh, credit card information and now my credit card information is in the shop. It's and in the shop I can buy products, for example, Google Earth, with um, uh, the implementation of that I can use my hands. 
um, and lots of games as well, but lots and lots and lots of free stuff. Currently, they're very big in um, um, uh, the Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift, so that's that makes sense having a 3D interface with uh, uh, with uh, uh, gestures in the air. And they're also very big on uh, um, uh, uh, JavaScript, so you can do it on the web as well, Unity, etc. So let's take a look at it. This is the application, and. This application is basically um, um, a starter for for the applications you can you can you can uh, start. Um, so you can do piano or do your yeah maintain your Mac with with just your hands. I'll give an example. Cut the rope is probably in a, a game you still remember from the iPad era. Um, okay, I won't do that. Um, let's see if it's running. Yes, it is. Okay, you see my finger, and with this finger I connect. So this is all I do. And let's do a uh, level two. This can be better, I presume. So this just this device that is uh, seeing my finger. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's handy, but not that handy. Actually, the mouse goes a lot faster. So that's one of the downsides. Uh, let me do another cool example, because you'll understand what the uh, real uh, uh, benefits of the product is here. Um, this is still a demo. Mm, yeah, there you go. Um, so I can move the mouse around, or move the skull around. Watch it from all sides. And then point and extract certain elements. Okay. And I still learn the system is still learning. Okay. Remove. Okay. Put it back together. I have to build two more objects. Okay. So there you have it. You can uh, zoom in and see how the internal skull is actually. But the drawing programs as well, and music programs, etc. So it's actually it is working. For certain use cases, it's quite good for uh, 3D, 3D drawings and everything that's related to 3D. For example, the other thing you saw, the cut the, cut the rope, it's fun, but it's not that good. So we've seen some um, voice uh, touch with my uh, um, pencil, stencil, stylus and the, the Wacom tablet. Uh, we've seen some hands, uh, gestures, and uh, without uh, the error. So, uh, Let's continue tomorrow on uh, how a phone can act as a presence part and uh, that's part of natural user interface as well. Presence being there and uh, be there tomorrow when I uh, continue this presentation. Take care and see you tomorrow.